Hey there, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you three different ways of removing the underline from the drop down button, two different ways for just the drop down button widget, and a third way for the drop down button form field widget. So let's just get straight into it. So as you can see, this is the drop down button right here. And over here, we have the underline property, which belongs to the drop down button. Obviously, it's one of its properties, just like all these other properties right here. And right now we're actually using the underline. As you can see, we have a container with a height of two and a color, which is deep orange. Now, if I remove this altogether and I hit the save button, it might be tough to see, but the underline is over there. But because the default color is a very light gray, maybe you can't notice, I can try to change the background to black, but it, was, it still won't be that obvious, but I believe you can see it if you really try to. So let's go back to white. And basically the easiest way to go about it is to use the underline property and then create an empty container. And that's literally it. Keep your eyes fixed on the actual line because it's hard to see, but I'm going to hit the save button and it's going to disappear completely. There you go. Now it's fully gone. The other option you have for this widget here, right here is you remove the property, of course, and then you wrap this widget over here with the drop down button hide underline widget, which seems pretty confusing, right? But hey, if it works, it works. And this definitely works. Okay. As you can see, it's, it's still not here. And if I just remove this and save again, it comes back underneath. But now let me show you how to get rid of it if you're using a drop down button form field. And I'm going to say this and it's going to format differently because it's meant to be in the form. But let's just get past that. It's even better to actually see the underline in this case, even though it looks really ugly when you look at the, you know, word. But let me just make this a little bit smaller so it doesn't look as bad. There you go. That looks a little bit better. And here, the, the reason I wanted to show you this differently is because if you come over here and you try to use the underlying property, there is no such thing. So yeah, you can't do that. So what do you do? Instead, you use the decoration property. And here you use the input decoration widget. And the first thing you do is use the property is collapsed and make it true. And then you just got to go ahead and say, enabled border input border dot none. This is it. I'm going to hit the save button. And now we have a drop down button form field without any underline. And you know, just just in case you're curious, if I remove this, this is what happens. And if I remove this, it will still be gone. But there on some occasions I had to use it. It's a little bit weird how this works. So you know, you can just try it without it. And then if you run into, into uh, any issues, you can just add it back. But in most cases, it's probably not necessary to enable the is collapsed property. So just this would work just as well as you can see. And those are pretty much the three methods I wanted to show you. If this video helped you at all, please hit that like button. And if you're new to Flutter, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. This is Flutter Mentor and out. Mm -hmm.